Hello everyone. Thank you for watching the Dividia World videos. In this video, SAP Archiving, Archiving Objects Part 4D. This is the continuation video of Part 4E. Okay, where we have learned about the archiving, uh, you know, concepts about IDOCs and the DB tabla table. So in this video, the Part 4B, we learn about two more objects. Okay. So the first one is the application log and the second one is the change documents. Now, archiving object bc underscore s bad application log. The application log is a tool to collect, save and display logs. Many different applications collect messages in the application log which contain information or messages for end user. So what is this application log? It's nothing but it's a tool where all the messages which are displayed to us are collected and saved. We run so many transactions, we run programs, okay? So we often get messages from the SAP system, okay? Either at the bottom of the screen or something, okay? So all those messages, they, they are nothing but they are recorded in this application log. So the application log is nothing but it, it just contains all these messages. The application automatically log serves as a temporary storage for messages. The logs are written on, written on the database, but they are not automatically deleted. So every time a message is shown on the screen, it gets recorded in the database. Okay, and they are not deleted. We have to delete them explicitly. There is no general procedure for switching the application log on or off. Okay, so the switching on or off the application log is not in our control. Okay, so it's it depends on the application. So whatever program you run it, whatever application you are running it. Okay, so depending upon that, the messages are generated by the system, by the application, and there is no control. We can't do anything. Object logs consist of the following: the log header, the table, bal, HDR. With the unique log number, the information that clearly indicates who triggered which event with what program or transaction. And as many log messages as you require with their relevant status table also. So we have two more tables, the bal data and bal underscore indx. So the application log tables they start with BAL. So BAL start are the application log tables. One is the header table, bal header. Okay, so it has the unique the log number. Every log has its own number and it has additional information like which the user ID and the program or the transaction from where this log was generated. And the second one is the BALDAT table and the balance score index table. Okay, so the, uh, the, the other two tables we have. Okay, so all these messages they are generated by the application are recorded in the database table so it starts with the BAL star file header file that and BAL underscore we have an indexing table also now when we come to the deletion SLG2 is the main transaction for deleting logs report is is balance score delete on the selection screen you can restrict the amount of logs to be deleted the object and sub object fields specify the application area in which the logs were written the external identification field specifies the number which was provided for this log by the application. If you also want to delete logs which have not reached the expiration date, you must set the option also logs which can be deleted before the expiration date. Now, here there is one more concept which we have to learn regarding these logs or messages. Each log or a message okay, has some expiration date. This expiration date is set by the application. Okay, so this even we can't set the expiration date. If the application does not explicitly set any expiration date for the message or the log, the default expiration date is 31129999999. We are still in 2015. Okay, so they have set it to the maximum value 31129999. Nine, okay, and in some other applications, they they can explicitly set the expiration date for the logs which are generated. 
okay so if it's not set explicitly by the uh, application then it's 31 12 9999 now first thing is like these logs are not automatically deleted we have to manually delete them so slg2 is the transaction for deleting these logs and the corresponding report is, is balance code delete okay so this is the screen when you run as balance code okay uh, this is the archive and and we have a delete also so you have the object the sub object okay and you have the other details where you can input what logs you want to delete now you can delete the logs which have reached their expiration date already crossed the expiration date or if required you can also delete the logs which have not reached the expiration date or probably you can archive them okay so the logs which have simply crossed their expiration date are deleted the other logs which have not crossed the expiration date okay they are probably archived after some three months or six months again it's depending upon the business needs okay now recommendation at regular intervals the delete report should be scheduled as a background job to delete the application log when the expiry date is passed so especially the logs which have crossed the expiration date should be deleted from the system so you have to schedule this report as balance code delete periodically and slg2 is a transaction okay you can run it in the foreground or you can schedule it as a background job also so this is the transaction and this is the corresponding program name from where we can delete the application logs okay so this is the screen if you also want to delete the logs which have not reach the expiration date you must set the option also logs which can be deleted before the expiration date so here we have an option okay in this is balance code delete or archive so you have an option like selecting the logs which have already crossed the expiration date or logs okay which can be deleted before the expiration date now what's the recommendation from SAP? At regular intervals, this delete report should be scheduled as a background job to delete the application log where the expiry date is passed. Okay, so SAP says like strictly run this program periodically, delete all the application logs which have crossed their expiry date. Okay, and when we talk about archiving, we say like for the logs which are not crossed the expiration date you can set a retention period of three months to six months whatever it is depending upon your business and you can archive them okay so this is about the third object bc underscore is bad okay it talks about application log now the next one is change documents the archiving object change document the archiving object name is here C H A N G E D O C U. Change documents are used to log changes to master records, tables, and documents. All changes in a in an article master, for example, are automatically updated in change documents. All changes to article master records during each process step are stored in same change document. Now, change documents are nothing but they consist of the changes which are you know made to the master records the tables or documents db tab log is the table where all the logging if you say like this changes to this particular table are to be lodged if you select activated then they are recorded in db tab log now for some other tables okay and documents so we, the the changes are automatically recorded in change documents example is article master so all changes to article master records during each process step are stored in the same change document changes that are made sequentially but at different points in time are stored in different change documents the change documents are stored in tables cd hitched header the header table and cd boss the items table okay so the changes which are made sequentially but if you make changes at different points in time the different change documents are created okay and the change document tables are cd hdr the header table and cd boss itself it's the data table 
and CD pause is a part of the cluster CDC LS and CDC LS is the cluster for this okay so what are change documents change documents are nothing but the changes made to the master data tables okay and documents are recorded automatically in change documents the corresponding tables are CD header CD pause and CDC LS is the cluster okay so if your example is the article master records so any changes made to this article master records are automatically recorded okay so for these tables or documents where these tables okay where the changes are automatically recorded in form of change documents we need not activate the table logging that point we should remember deletion you can delete change documents using the report rc dok99 selecting the data either via object type or to date before you use this report make sure you read the corresponding program documentation so similarly to the application logs we have a program like rsc dok99 to delete the change documents to so you can delete depending upon the date or whatever object type archiving Change documents are normally only archived using archiving class change document together with the application data for which they have been generated. However, some application objects exist for long time and are never deleted or archived such as material master and other master data. Therefore, the archiving object change document can be used to archive change documents separately from the application data. So, these change documents are normally they are archived along with the actual application data. So, uh, you don't archive the application data separately and the change documents separately. Okay, but generally that practice is not followed. However, we can archive both of them separately, but generally SAP says you archive the application data along with the change documents the archiving object change docu should only be used to archive the change documents of master data change documents of transaction data records should still be archived together with the appropriate archiving object so that's what when we come to master data then you can archive these change documents separately compared to uh, we can leave the data and you can archive the change documents separately However, when it is transactional data, okay, you should archive the transactional data along with the change documents together, okay. So the archiving object is change C H A N G E document -E -E -E. So this is the initial screen for this report R S C D O K nine nine. So this is the report, okay. So uh, this is the selection screen you give the change document whatever object it is the value the date okay and that's how you run it so just brushing up what we have discussed in this video we have learned about the archiving of application log first the archiving object name is dc underscore is bad all the application logs are nothing but they are the messages which are generated from the application when we run a program or a transaction we have no control on it we can't switch it on or off okay it's maintained by the application okay and the tables corresponding to this application log are bal star they start with bal bal header bal data and bal underscore index now coming to deletion slg2 or is bal underscore delete is the report okay to delete these application logs and here we have the concept of expiration date okay if it, it can be explicitly said by the application if not it is said to 31129999 so SAP says delete all application logs which have crossed the expiration date and for the logs which have not crossed the expiration date you either uh, you archive them after something three months six months nine months whatever it is depending upon your business needs okay so that's how the archiving strategy is for the application log and in some cases when we encounter some errors we have to even delete the application log annually 
okay say like if a clash occurs we get some dumps erroneous you know dumps then we have to delete the application log manually for the object there is some bug in some release okay i think it's in 701 or 2 in the uh, especially in the crm systems so there we have to delete this application log manually before it you know reaches the expiration date okay uh, generally uh, you know for the crm objects okay sometimes you know it, an error occurs some dump i don't exactly don't know what's the dump name okay but if you go through the dump it will talk about the application log so you have to delete okay the application log manually for that particular crm object in that case it will not reach the expiration date however we have to forcefully delete it so you have an option like delete the logs which which can be deleted before the expiration date so in such cases we will select this option okay so and for deleting the ones which have already crossed the expiration date sap says run this report as balance code delete periodically schedule it periodically in your systems okay so the next one is the change document see a change in document okay here also change documents are nothing but all the changes made to the master master data the transactional data and the documents etc are recorded in the change document tables they are the cd header cd pause and cd cls okay now changes made to the same object sequentially are recorded in different change uh, documents if they are if they are made at different points different point of time now when we talk about the deletion of the change documents the report is rscd ok 99 okay so this is the report where we can delete the change documents now uh, change documents for transactional data should not be delete, deleted separately only for master data you can delete the change documents using this archiving object change document transactional data please don't do that the data along with the change documents has to be archived or deleted together okay so uh, for uh, master uh, data you can schedule the archiving jobs to, to purge off the change documents from the system using this change document object name okay and this is how the report initial screen is you can give the object name date you can give all the filters and even we have to schedule this report periodically and generally the retention time of change, change documents also will be three months six months nine months depending upon our business okay so now so far in in these two videos part 4a and 4b of archiving objects we have discussed about idoc Data block table change documents and the application log. Okay, these four are the important ones where archiving has to be initiated in the production systems. In the next video, uh, we learn about certain objects where we can't do archiving but we are just forced to purge off the data from the system. Okay, so we'll see what those objects are. Okay, so this is about archiving, few archiving objects and the strategy for archiving thank you